Hey there everyone, this is Danielle with another Odyssey Experiment video. Uh, as mentioned before, uh, there's some stuff I want to do in Tostarina that we can do now because it's daytime and I've actually finished the rest of the story. As you can see I went and got a few more moons off camera, I was experimenting a little bit just to see what might be worth trying out on camera. So, yeah. Uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is make our way over to this gate here uh, at the entrance to the ruins. You can see there's a moon up there. There are two ways you're intended to get that. Well, three. There's three ways you're intended to be able to get that. One is to use the power line. You can drop out of the power line and get up there up there that way. Uh, the second is to grab a bullet bill from over there, higher up on the tower, and just fly across. And the third way is what speedrunners usually do, which is there's usually an icicle here-ish, and they climb up that way. Um, I'm not going to be doing that, because there's no icicle here. <laughs> So I'm going to see if I can make my way up there without using any of those three tactics. Uh, there are some Goombas around here, there aren't many, I'll see if making a tower from them actually helps out. It might, I don't know if it will. I can see you get a bit of a, a, bit of a decent jump out of that, um, but there aren't that whole lot of Goombas so I can't make like a really big tower. Hmm, I don't think that'll help me too much, I just thought it was worth a try. Maybe, hang on. Dang it. <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't think that's the way to do it. Um, I'm leaning towards doing a triple jump off here. And then carefully lining up my cap throws so I can actually bounce and go into the side of that wall there. Okay, these goombas are going to be in the way, so I'm going to move them over here. Da 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 You just stay over there. Okay, that's not working. Hmm. Hmm, I don't think I can get in a height. This is the highest spot to jump from by the looks of things. Yeah, you can see I'm not getting enough height from that. If the icicles were still here, we could definitely use one uh, to get up there, but they're not. Uh, a triple jump is the highest type of jump available. A cappy roll jump gets you farther, but not higher. Yeah, you can see I'm not getting enough height. So I think that one... I think there's a way to do it, but I just don't know what that way is. Um, let me try aim for the front instead of the side. Hmm, maybe. Trouble is, this, the way it's designed is it's usually a, like an overhanging ledge above you. It's probably deliberate to try to encourage you to do the other ways to get up. Hmm. I think I've seen someone actually get up there this way, but I don't know how they did it. Yeah. I guess it's a few more tries. I have some more interesting experiments to do though, so this I won't give this too much. Hmm. Yeah, alright, I'm gonna head on to the next bit. So I think that's possible, I'm just not sure of the best way to do it. I might revisit it later. Um, but the main star of the show here is I have a couple of other things I want to try out. Uh, that wasn't one of them. Uh, I know this can be done, I've done it a bunch of times. Ugh, I'm just messing up because I'm playing bad now. <laughs> You can get up there uh, without too much trouble. I'm just not doing it very well for some reason. You don't actually need a triple jump. The jump, jump I was doing is enough. The side flip or whatever it's called. Oh, come on. <laughs> this way is so much faster if you can actually pull it off, but I'm having a bit of trouble doing that. Now a bullet. Now the bullet is dead. 
<laughs> oh, I haven't played Odyssey in quite a while, so I'm a bit out of practice. Eh, whatever, I'm just gonna do it like a normal person. There we go. Anyway, yeah, so what I'm actually trying to do here is actually go all the way over the pyramid. Um, but I have to use the power line to do it, so I do need to climb up to one of these other ledges where you can get the power lines. Oop! I didn't want to be a bullet. Yeah, because to get on top of the pyramid, you have to use that power line. What I want to do, um, as I discussed in the previous video, is get into the pyramid at the bottom, uh, which can be done uh, without having to... Uh... Can I climb on that? Mario. Mario, climb up. <sighs> Whatever. This is not going as intended. Let's go through here, because... Okay, there we go. So, the pyramid. The entrance, you can see it down there, on the left side there. So what we want to do is, from up here, we want to get in there. If we were to use the use Glide-On, I think we can use Glide-On to do it, or we can just use... Uh, if you look down at the right spot, we might not be able to see it from here. Oops. That slingshot there. But, now we have to get back up there without using the slingshot. <laughs> Oh my god, this isn't going as well as planned. Uh, anyway, uh, I think going this way is probably fastest. Uh, we can get on top of that building without too much trouble. You actually intended to, like, go through it, but there's this big hill right next to it, so it's super easy to get up there. Just like this. There we go. Alright, so yeah, you can see the entrance there. I think we can get into that by jumping off from basically here, uh, if we do it just right. Uh, not like that. Um, you will notice a bit of a problem in that having to, once we fall down here, resetting is going to be a bit of a hassle. I think it'll be faster if we just warp over here and use the power lines. So we're going to do that. Uh, there isn't a checkpoint on top of the pyramid, which is why you need the power lines to be here to get up here at all. Uh, you cannot warp on top of the pyramid. Okay, there we go. That first part worked. You can see you can stand here, uh, which you can get to with a dive. Uh, and that's very helpful, because that gives us a bit... gets us a bit closer, and then give, lets us recharge our cap bounce once we're here. Uh, but you can see the ceiling here is quite low, so you have to be a bit careful. Uh... Oh, okay, we bonked on that. Uh, and that's going to lead us to the next problem, which is... When you fall off, you will often fall directly down this hole. Fortunately, however, I have another experiment to do down here. So, the fact that we're down here isn't too bad. Uh, the experiment I want to do down here is, you can see that there's like this area with lots of like pillars and stuff and some ice bridge thingies between the pillars. I want to try to get through this whole area without touching any of that ice. I believe it's possible. Um, as usual, if I mess it up, I'll walk, I'll just go back to the last spot that I was standing that was safe rather than having to 
reset the whole thing. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure you can get all the way past this ice. Uh, that part over there is the trickiest part with the three moving ice pieces. You'll see why when we get over there. Oh, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> um, we have to worry too much about losing our life up heart. There is another one in this area, which I'll show you when we get to it. But yeah, we just do a nice cappy roll jump to go into this pillar. Which is obviously intentional because there's coins up here. Uh, although maybe you're supposed to do something else to get up here. I don't know. Okay, we're going to stand right in the corner here. There we go. Okay, then we have to get on top of this one. Uh, I think, yeah, we, yeah, that, that'd be the best way to do it. So if we do a triple jump from over here... Uh, that almost worked. It's a little tricky because of the way the pillars are designed. You can see there isn't a whole lot of space to wall jump off, so you have to be very precise with your movement. But that's, look, this does work if you get it right. Uh... There we go. Okay, uh, so then we want to do another cappy roll jump from about here. Go away, Goombas. And yeah, touching the ground when in a capture form still counts, so I can't just like get 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 into the Goombas and do it that way. <laughs> um, but yeah, we need to do a happy roll jump, make our way over to that platform with lots of Goombas on it. Like so. Uh, and then we can just get rid of them, just to make this a little simpler. So, uh, then we want to go over to that platform over there. This isn't too tricky. Okay, this is the hardest part. We have to get that little spinny thingy without actually touching the ice platform it's on. Uh, this will take a few tries probably, so I'll be resetting back to this platform when it messes up, uh, instead of having to do the whole area again, just to keep things simple. Oh, I did it first try. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> that was easier than I expected. Anyway, uh, here you can get a life up heart if you want one. And then we can make our way to the end without having to touch any ice. So this experiment was easier than I expected. Um, I really thought that last part would take at least a few tries and it, it didn't. So that was easy. Uh, so this part, you don't want to actually use the ice. You want to go over here. Uh, hit these little flippers here. There we go. And then you can just run across this ledge here. Uh, there are some invisible platform, like, blocks there to help you climb up. You don't need them. Uh, then you can just keep going this way. Uh, I wish I can get on top of there. Let's find out. Nah, too far away. And there you go. Uh, we made it all the way through here without actually touching any of the ice. So, yeah. That's that experiment complete. Uh, I'm just going to dive down here, and I guess I'll walk back up to here again so that we can resume our experiment. <laughs> so yeah, um, so experiment one, trying to get on top of that uh, gate over there. I haven't figured out how to do it, but I'm pretty sure it's possible. Experiment number two, uh, getting through the underground ice cave without touching any of the ice is a success. Uh, experiment three, getting into the pyramid from above. Here we go again. <laughs> oh gosh. So I'll give this a couple of shots. Uh, if I don't pull it off in a, like super quickly, I'll probably come back in another video. Just, uh, whoop, whoops. Uh, just because I want to keep this one kind of short. Um... And I can probably look up how to do the other the other thing while I'm there. Also, resetting this takes a while because you fall into the temple here. Then you've got to walk back and pick the wrong one. Because, of course. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, the fastest way is probably to still warp up here. Even though the warping itself takes quite a while. There we go. Okay, uh, I'll grab that one. There we go. And then I'll just launch myself up here. Uh, 
There we go. So yeah, you want to just get yourself onto this pillar first, I think. Or this face. Um, and when you're on top of this face here, you can carefully make your way along the side. And we're going down the hole again. So yeah, you can see the problem with this experiment is resetting it back once you've messed it up once takes quite a long time. Uh, remember, you can't warp until you touch the ground. So as you fall down the hole, you can't walk back out because that would let you avoid falling down like actual death holes and stuff in the game. Okie doke. Okay, when you're sliding down the side of the hole, that, that lets you warp out, even though you're, you know, gonna slide down the hole. You're still technically on the ground. It's interesting how the game handles, like, whether you're allowed to warp on the ground or not. Because, um, lava and poison, which kill you when you touch them, still count as ground. So if you, like, open the map at the exact right time, you can warp off of a poison or lava floor without getting hurt. It's tricky, but it's doable. Oops. Hello, friend. Boop. Yeah, let's give this a few more tries, and then I'm going to call out a video, because I pulled off one experiment successfully, and the other two we can come back to uh, once I've researched a little bit more, perhaps. I've gotten a bit more familiar with the strategy I need to take. So yeah, with this one, yeah, it's doing a dive there. Gets you right in the hole here. Uh, it behaves a little weirdly because the ceiling is low. And also, the hitbox doesn't quite match up with where the actual face is. As you can see, Mario is sort of floating a little bit. You're clearly not supposed to stand up here, but you can. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, okay, so we're going to drop. Oh, that came close. I think it did. It's hard to tell because of the camera angles. Yeah, I just want to throw Cappy basically into that gap there, and then you want to bounce on her head. Uh, as usual, bouncing on an innocent hat's head. Uh, then you want to drop down here. Okay, so you can't stand on that one. That makes things harder to slide down it. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if that recharges your cap bounce when you. Well, oh no, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. Yeah. When, when you stand, when you slide down a wall, jump up a wall, you don't get a recharged cap bounce like when you stand on something. So uh, that second like protrusion there that I landed on will not help us get closer. Uh, so that's annoying. Oops. Hello. <laughs> okay, I guess just a few more shots. Here we go. Here we go again. Here we go. Okey doke. So yeah, first part, that's easy. Uh, let's try going on this side, see if it makes a difference. Oh, that was super close. Did you see that? Oh, wow.
I think this is possible. I'm gonna give it just a couple more tries. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. Then we want to just drop down here. Ah! Slowing down that wall jump of a wall is slowing us down, I think. Like, keeping us away from where we want to be. Uh, it doesn't help at all, because wall jumping off it pushes, it pushes us away from where we want to get to. Since it's an inverted pyramid, the, the door is, is further in. Then we start, obviously. Because <laughs> that's how a pyramid works. <laughs> I think landing on that first ledge is really helpful, though. Since it lets us recharge our cap bounce. wonder. I wonder. Um, maybe I'm going about this the wrong way. It just occurred to me. Uh, cause... Oh, no, that's really, really high up. Maybe, though. Maybe. Like, I'm thinking perhaps if you come around to this side, uh, the side we're on now, you can see there's a bit of a ledge there. I'm wondering if climbing down to that ledge might be an easier way to go about this. Since you can get down there without any trouble, as I just did. Um... I mean, it's, it's further away from where we want to be, but maybe the fact that we can do, for example, a cappy roll jump makes it a better place to be. Hmm. Maybe. 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 <laughs> Okay, I'll give it like two more tries and, and then I'm gonna like do some research and come back to this in another video, I think. Because yeah, I don't want to make this, too, this one too long and we already got a successful experiment done. Okay, that one was pretty bad, so I might not count it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hmm. I do think that using this le this side here is probably going to be helpful in some way. I'm just not sure if it's necessarily the best way to do this. Mario, no. <laughs> okay, let's give it one more shot, and then I'm gonna call it for now. Cause just cause I want to keep this video relatively short. It's already 20 minutes. I make long videos. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, uh, let's just head over this way, I suppose. Uh, maybe we'll try it from over here. Because, yeah, it's very, very easy to get in here, as you can see. I've done it several times in a row. And then I... Let's, let's try Cappy roll jumping, but put Cappy, like, way over at the end. Okay, that hit, makes you hit that ledge there, so that's not ideal. But... Hmm... Hmm... Okay, I feel like it's possible, but I need I need to like maybe research the techniques involved to do it better. 
Um, I'm, I came very close, so I think I think it's doable. I just can't quite pull it off. Uh, I'm gonna come back and revisit that experiment in in another video. I'm also going to come back and revisit uh, this experiment over here in another video. Uh, as you can see, yeah, this is the like intended way probably to just jump out of the power line like that and grab it. You can also use a bullet from that bullet bill over there in front of us. Either way works. Um, but yeah, I wanted to just like climb up and yeah. Oh well. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, uh, next time I'm gonna check out these two experiments again and maybe something new. Um, hopefully I can think of something to do in Lake Lamo. We already did the no touching water thing. Uh, I have a suspicion that like no touching land would just be super easy. Uh, but I don't know. I might, I might give it a bit of a look off camera and see whether it's super easy or not.